How do everyone? And here we are again. This is build part number two, where we're going to do the towel, the rudder, and stick the elevons together. So the first thing we need to do is cut them off. So I think this bit, I don't know, maybe not one of these bits. Yeah, anyway, um, oh, it is. <laughs> right, so in which case, how about that? Close to the tab, close to the tab, and then just cut that there so we don't wreck the tile. Uh, go on that one there, close to the tab on that one, and then that, leaving a bit on there. Right, that's that. <coughs> that's the auxiliary power unit bit. And then we've got the rudder. So as you can see, the sun is creeping round here. It's coming around rather quickly. So this is where all the, the glare starts, which ruined my first ever video. So if um, if we don't get this done, <laughs> then we don't get it done. But hopefully we'll have no problem. There's one side of the one. And there's the other one. And then we'll just quickly get these ones off before all hell breaks loose and the sun bleaches everything out. So put them over there. Right. <coughs> right, that's those. So they're all off. I'm going to get rid of that before. So there's the elevons, stick those up there for the time being. So this is all what we want for today. So this, and then the two ECM bits, which are on, on that one, I think they're on this one here. Yeah. So I um, want part 78 and 79. There we go, 79. And there's 78. Right, that's got shot off that. Right, see, that's done. So here we go. A little bit of a quick um go on that. Tabs connected. Uh, that's that one. That's that one always away. Because then you just get the bit on there which can be sanded down rather than taking a chunk out of the tail. So the tail goes together as a reasonable fit, yeah. So we're going to put these bits in. Um, here's there. Again, another little trim up session. Oh, that's all right. There we go. Get rid of that off of there. Get rid of that off of there. Got a little bit of sandpaper. Oh, <laughs> sanding pad. All right. All right, and that goes there. Let me get rid of that there. So, right, that's all the injection mold lines off of it. That's that one. This bit looks like it was slide bolted. Yeah, it's only area we're into that, but there you go. And then with this bit, just going to scrape it with the knife edge rather than try and sand it. That's it, that looks good enough. Uh, run the knife edge down there, just scrape off that bit. And then get rid of that bit on the front. All right. A little bit of a And use it evenly. Otherwise, it uh... right. That's that one. 
Right, so you can a little flash there on the back of that. Ha ha ha, gotcha. Right, there we are. There's a bit of bit there, and there is a bit there on top as well. And there you go, that's off. Right, so there we go. So we're going to just run the butts up onto here. And then lose all clips on there, like that. Right, okay, so how are we going to do this? <coughs> right, here's Tammy and White glue. So it's a bit thicker. Mm -hmm. Christ, look at the middle. Right, then we won't put anything on there for the minute, because obviously this is where this stuff bunches up, so we run the the glue, we put a splodge there and then just run it like that and then just wash it off at the end and then we'll put the the splodge of it on the back of this one so we'll just nick a bit off of there put it on there oh god the noise has started Right, here we go, and then what I was doing is we can hold the thing like that, and place the rudder into the back, so you get a tiny little bit of smidge there, but that's gone. There we go, and there we are, and there it is. So it's all in there. And then what we can do then is get a bit of Tamiya extra thin, and then uh, just wash that right the way along the back like that and so there's your rudder so your rudder's all done it's all nice and smooth and it's looking good right Put them to one side. Now with the tail, um, we've got to glue. First of all, just let's see where that little smooches. Just get rid of him like that. That's a little vent that is out there. It's probably too delicate to open up. Now, before we stick the tail together, we've got some brass edge to poke in here. And you know what? Last time I did the last one, <laughs> I had to add them to the outside. But <clears throat> it was that good that nobody really noticed. But I know that GR4 ever went to a show that uh, there'd be a few eagle eyes looking out for it, but you really honestly can't tell. So, anyway, what we've got to do is we've got to cut out <coughs> um, these bits. Now there they are, they're 8PE, um, so it's just like uh, the little um, photo edge pieces to go from there into there. So we only need the ones that are on here. So out comes the brass edge again, leaving the two screws behind, because we don't need those. And then there's the strongbow knife. Now where are they? Here they are, yeah. You see, right, so it's number eight. So again, you get eight and seven. the same two, six. Oh, no, they're not. So the GR, so the GR1 must have had all the idea. So six vents and this has five. So, ha <laughs> ha, you see. That's what the difference is. Lift that up, have a look, get rid of that. Over okay, there, these are what we need. Drop a super do out again. Now, we're going to put these in first because obviously 
we need them to be in rather than out. So, come on. Oh, there it comes. Right. So, get a blob and put the blob on there. There's another blob there. Put it there. Right. Now then. Tweezers, put the thing in there. Got to go in like a little groove, so. Again, right, this, this bloody stuff's dangerous. I've learned very quickly with Subaru when it first ever came out not to mess with the bloody stuff because I've had my fingers stuck together in a rather embarrassing situation where um, um, uh, a mate of mine bought me a set of sunglasses and the, <coughs> and the frame broke. And they were a pair of Ray-Bans, and there's no way I wanted to get rid of them. I wanted to keep them, so there's no way they were going in the bin. Uh, because they were the ones that were from the film Top Gun, so they were aviators. So that tells you how long ago it was, because the Top Gun film, I mean the first Top Gun film. And um, yes, and of course, when Superglue first came out, it was kind of like one super, so it used to run everywhere. And it ran, and yeah, guess what? Mate here glued his bloody fingers together with it to the glasses. So I had to walk from my house about three miles to the hospital with these bloody ant things stuck to my hands because I couldn't drive. And um, yeah, and get them unattached. To which case, I think the. Uh, excuse me. Hey! Hey! Go away! Now, stop up saying her. Oh, Jesus, I tell you. Rupert, leave it. Rupert, pass me that back. I'll tell you, kids, who'd have them? Right, now just leave her alone. God, they're all bloody screaming now, so I have to cut the video short with a minute. Let's hope I'll get this done before the sun comes around. So, yeah, so at the end of the day, yeah, I'll glue my bloody fingers together to the sunglasses, and the doctors and nurses nurses that were at the hospital took great pleasure in having a right old laugh for me to start off with um, before they actually got this liquid out and put it on my fingers and they became unstuck <laughs> so yeah anyway that's an old story but i learned that was my lesson learned 
Don't mess with super glue. I mean, I'm not saying that I haven't had my fingers stuck together again since I have, but um, I've always had that deep bonder stuff. I think this is the first time that well, I haven't got any now, and uh, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I definitely don't need it happening again. <coughs> Even though I've got other things that where I can get them unstuck, like sh sharp knife blades, saw blades. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go into it. But here we go. Right, so getting on with this. Um, let's just round that off because I don't think that's supposed to be on there. And then that there, there's a lump there on the end, so. Right, that's that. There is a sanding stick here, actually, that'll do the job better. Right, and then there's the back one. And, uh,. Go around that there, and then do the inside first. Right, and then you look at the outside, and uh, just sort that out. There we go, right. Right, that's that. So that's that side. So that's how I, that's the two in a bits done. And then we're gonna stick the the tail together. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the front edge first and then the rear edge last. Uh, we're gonna have to somehow get that uh, crazy rudder stuck on. So that's that there. They're all in the shower now. Bloody hell. I can imagine the amount of mess that's going on in there. And then guess what? Mum and Dad's got to clean it all up. Yep. Yeah. Can I just say that um, I never mention my mate too much. The simple reason being in... He's in a line of work where I can't interview him on the channel um, because obviously he's in the line of work where he can't very well be exposed due to the fact of what he works with and who he works with. But he's a good friend of mine, he's my best mate. And I can't thank him enough for what he's done for me over the years. Um, and he's always been there, always been there, and on one time I was never thinking of him, um, in, not in any kind of sense of the word, but basically um, I ended up in a bit of trouble, um, and I was away from home, a long way from home, and he went out of his way to come and get me, um, and then what he did was he made sure that I was clothed because I had no clothes. Any clothes I had was what I was standing in, which was for my works. Um, and yeah, he basically took me under his wing for a few nights until such a situation was sorted. And then, um, and then I went back home, but he's always, always been there. Always, always been there. And I've never, never given him any credit for that. And I'm, I'm going to now. And he probably, if he's watching this, he'll probably know exactly who he is. Um, we met at a model club in 2005. I think it was November, stroke December 2005. Um, which now is a, quite a long time ago now. <coughs> And, uh, you know, he's, he's introduced me to a few other people, which I've become friends with as well. And yes, they are lovely people as well. And uh, they take they take me for face value, um, which is nice because you know I don't I don't really judge 
people or characters. I'm just one of these types that just accepts you for who you are, really. Don't judge a book by its cover. <clears throat> and that's not what they do. They don't do that. They're nice people. So I'll give a shout out to those other ones first. So that's Toby Mills. Toby. James Middleton. Will Packard. Uh, Asha Kamal. Thanks very much, mate. He took me under his wing as well. And he's a decent bloke for doing that. Uh, can't thank you enough, mate. And uh, we're still in touch this very day. Um, uh, Constantine. Uh, <clears throat> you know, again, a guy uh, who's uh, accepted me for who I am. And last but not least on that little list is um, a guy that's now returned back to our little modeling group, Nick. Um, <clears throat> Aronica. Uh, I've known him for many years. Um, can't remember exactly how many, but it's been a long time. <laughs> and he's he is a funny sod. So, uh, Nick, how do you, pal? So, a big hello to all of those. Um, and obviously the one that I can't really name... Um, uh, we're just, we're just, well, I'll just call him by his first name, Abel. You know, you are, mate. You're a special man. Um, yeah, pal. Can't thank you enough for what you've done to me. And just recently, he's been there again and advised me on what to do with, you know, how to um, look at life with job and because he understands my my autism through the job he does. Um, then you know he, he he's um, he, he kind of I don't know, really calms calms me down settles me down um, I don't panic um, you know I actually spoke a few truths to him the other night about what I'm you know scared of and stuff like that and uh, yeah he's uh, he's basically just sort of said you know look at the end of the day you know you just got to stop. Uh, concerning yourself with worry about whatever and just get on with it you know and just do it but don't do this and don't do that and do this and do that and i'm very very grateful for him for that information so thanks mate and thanks for being there um you're an absolute star but that doesn't mean to say that all the rest of you aren't being there because there's 700 odd of you that have taken an interest in my channel and for, you know, um, I don't know how many other uh, autistic modelers there are out there, but there's probably a few. They probably don't even know they're autistic. But um, it's not until you get either a, a clever clogs like I've got for a wife who says that something's not quite right when you do something, or when she asks you to do something, and then, you know, goes into it. Um, but yeah, it's um, it is a thing. It's um, it it kind of is and isn't is and isn't an easy thing to get on with. Um, because of the fact of how you think and how you do things. But one thing's for sure, is that all seven hundred and fifty odd of you have liked what I'm doing on my channel, and that means a lot, guys. That really means a lot. So, I thank you all. I haven't met all of you. I probably won't meet all of you. But you would have met me because you see my face uh, on the channel. And, yeah. And it's, uh, I just want to, you know, thank, thank a lot of you for, you know, for passing by and taking the time out and giving me a chance. So... Thanks very much, guys. Now, there's the tail done. Um, the sun now is creeping around. It's going to block everything out now, so we won't we won't get these done, but they're, they're easy enough to stick together. So there's your tail done, your basic tail, so the rudder moves freely. Um, it's all nicely glued together. Um, I don't think. No, there's nothing else. The only other thing I've got to do is there's some slots that, uh, that go inside here. They're roughly about here somewhere. And that's for the antennas that, that go in the side of the tail. But that can come later. Um, so, um, yeah. So there we go. So part two is the tail. It's done. There it is. 
it's a massive thing. Um, the only thing I've got to do is stick the little fret on there, but the sun's coming round now, and it's yeah, it's not going to be long before it's going to be over here, and all of this lot's going to start glinting and shining back. It'd be like looking into a mirror. So yeah, so um, yeah, like I say again, thanks very much to all of you for subscribing to my channel and keeping us afloat and um, putting up with me funny quirky ways and me naff conversation. <laughs> <laughs> cheers guys and girls take care stay safe keep warm see you in the next one bye now